Hey guys, I'm back checking out another custom ROM for the Nexus 4 and this is actually a pre-released version of Liquid Smooth ROM so I've been lucky enough to get my hands on it. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. So you can see the Liquid Smooth version is 2.12 and it is using the official build. You'll also notice that it's using Android 4.3.1 as a base which I believe is only currently officially available on the Nexus 7. So it's sort of a hybrid. Now that should give us the very latest in fixes and improvements from Google. Now in terms of the UI performance, it's very fast and fluid. Apps are very speedy to open. You'll notice the transitions are faster than normal. They are set to 0.5 in the developer options straight from the get-go, so that definitely helps with the speed. Apps that have scrolling like Google Plus perform great here without as much as a hiccup when scrolling very fast or when loading images at the same time. So the name Liquid Smooth really does suit the performance here. Now this ROM is no stranger to customization. It really does have a ton of different options for you to mess around with and it still manages to be fast and fluid. Now this is gonna go faster, there's a lot to talk about and we'll start off with Halo. Now it actually has a tick box here to turn Halo on and off completely. So if you don't want it on, it won't even be included in your status bar. If you do want it on, it has a load of different options. For example, the Halo size and you can even change the color of the Halo as well. You've also got options here for incoming notifications and you can change the way they behave. You've got other options here for hide carrier labels and of course background alpha as well. If you put this on 100%, your notification drawer will be completely transparent. Forcing the settings into a dual panel mode is also an option here and I know a lot of people really like that. So once you've done it, you just restart your settings app and you'll have the dual panel mode. You also have the option for LCD density below that. And right at the bottom, you have the exposed DPI settings. Now, if you don't know what this is, it basically gives you options to set the DPI per app. And it does give you some other options as well. For example, you can see here, it gives you DPI font size. You can even change the resolution of the app so you can see what it looks like if it was in the tablet UI and just gives you a little bit more freedom to have the app displayed as you want. There are some other settings in the interface section. You can see it here, for example, the clock widget. Now this is actually Cyanogen Mods Clock Widget which is highly customizable and by default it's actually available on the lock screen you can see it right there I'm actually a massive fan of this and you've also got a low battery warning setting and a vibration multiplier as well lock screen customization is pretty obvious it has all the options you would expect for example different widgets different targets different ring targets you could also have your battery status showing and you've got the option for a custom background one of my favorite options here is you can actually add different buttons to your nav bar and that includes anything. So you can even have an application here. You just click applications and choose one that you've already installed. I've choose 3D Mark, which I don't know why, because you'd never have that in your nav bar, but you could pretty much have whatever you want. The ROM also gives you the option to have a transparent navigation bar on your home screens. And a lot of people really love this feature. So that is available. If we dive into the performance section here, you've got a few tweaks you can mess around with. You can change the governor, you can change the IO scheduler. It does come with row by default, which is one of the best. So I suggest you leave it on that. It does have some tweaks as well. And you have your own CPU spy. The ROM also comes with Pi controls included. I'm not going to go into it, but if you're in expanded desktop mode, you can use Pi controls. A power widget option is also included. And if you turn this on and pull down your notifications bar, you can see you got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and sound. You can also customize that exactly how you want. So it is fully customizable. Diving into the quick settings, you've got all the options here you would expect, but the way, main one for me is the quick pull down. I love this. You can pull down from the right for your quick toggles and pull down from the left to get your notifications. You can also customize the background and text color, and you can change the tiles per row. If we dive into the display section, you can fully customize the automatic brightness. So that you can set it to your preference. Scrolling down, we have settings for rotation, CRT animations, and battery light. The battery light can be customized so when your device is charging or fully charged, the LED changes colors. Now, if you're using a device with capacitive touch keys, you can also change the light timeout. Lastly, in terms of the customization, if we dive into the sound section, you've got the advanced options, you've got CMs, quiet hours, and it also gives you a few other controls here as well. Okay, so there you go. Now I'm sure I've missed out some of the customization here. There was just too much to say at all, but it really is absolutely packed with different options and different features. Now I don't wanna talk about benchmarks for too long, but you can see this Antutu run scored 20,640 and I haven't installed anything extra. I didn't overclock it, so that's a pretty good benchmark score. So there you have it guys. I realized I was speaking pretty quickly there, but I had a lot of stuff to cover. It really is an absolute feature packed ROM and it is fast as well. So it's pretty awesome. Now, like I said, this was an initial release just for me to test out. So it's probably going to get even better, but it should be out pretty soon. So yeah, give it a shot. Peace out.